What's up guys, we are back once again and we are going to be doing a, another movie today and this one I was really looking forward to watching to be able to review for you guys. So first off, as I always say, if you guys don't want to be spoiled, if you guys do not want any kind of spoilers, I highly recommend you click off the video, come back, and then we can talk about it. But we are going to be talking about The Boss Baby 2 family business or boss the boss baby the family business now this is again what you've seen from the trailer from what you've seen from everything you see where tim he has a family now he has two girls he's married but he still has a very active imagination for someone his age and ted he's become a very successful ceo of whatever but he he has he has a lot of money like he ain't hurting for money and when he come they get reunited in a weird way due to uh the youngest daughter tina which gets to realize that she is part of baby corp now the family business and it really surprises her father timmy that of course his brother was a part of it and his daughter is getting older and she's now attending a school to where she is very smart and she actually works very hard at her grades as well as everything else and it's really funny because it kind of disappoints her dad but then later on it gets revealed that tina needs both her father and uncle's help to be able to take on this new threat and it's to the school that the uh oldest sister is going to tabitha and we see where how Ted, as well as Timmy, they take a magic, more like a magic baby formula juice. And it's really funny because they go to their age and they start decreasing down in their age extremely fast to where you see where like they were in their 30s to probably 20 or well, probably like early 30s to like 20s to mid 20s into teens and then to preteens and then of course to the ages that we saw them in the first movie and again this really does bring back to the very first movie because again the comedy's there the the drama's there the, the heartfelt moments are there because they have to go undercover and find out what's going on in this uh school and we later find out which is kind of interesting because the one that plays uh armstrong the uh the villain in this movie is played by jeff goldham uh, Goblin, who is absolutely amazing. I found this to be very, very funny because for him to do that kind of a character really amazed me because I had no idea that he was going to be playing a villain. Uh, I honestly had no idea who's going to be in this uh, cast. I know we have uh, Alec Baldwin returning uh, for this character. We have some other ones returning for this role as well. So again, very comical in this film. It's a huge... Uh, it's, it's a very big family type of film. It is. It is one of those where you can watch it with uh, your spouse, your your kids. You can watch it with your family, your parents, wh whoever you want to watch it with. It's one of those films where y you don't have to take it so seriously. It's very fun. DreamWorks, I think, did a very great adaptation for the continuation of the boss baby because it was able to bring what was great about the first film and continue it into a second film and what the entire uh mission was was to stop uh armstrong from creating mindless parents to where he was really a uh, baby in a robot's body where he was able to control what was going on. So it, it kind of reminded me of, if you guys have ever seen the first Scooby-Doo movie, what Scrappy did to, uh, oh man, I can't, I can't remember his name, uh, that he controlled in the very first film. I'm trying to remember the guy's name, but it's pretty much like that. And what happens is he's wanted to create an app where he can control all the parents and be able to have the babies do whatever they want. And he names it B-Day, basically Baby Day. And he wants to just have no parents, he just wants kids. So that way they can do whatever they want without consequences. And of course, Tim and Ted, they have to spring into action to be able to stop this from happening. Now, this is more of a rebonding story with Tim and Ted throughout the entire film. I don't want to give too much away. But there is a scene where it gets revealed that uh, 
Tim was not there for Ted's graduations. Uh, Ted was not there for Tim's wedding. And he always sends him a whole bunch of gifts, but then it gets later revealed that it's lonely up at the top of where he is. He has so much money. He has a lot of power. But at the same time, he does not have a lot of time on his hands to spend with anybody else other than himself. And he gives Ted credit that, you know, he, or Tim credit that he made a family and that he wants to, to have that as well. He just doesn't know how. And Ted, you know, Timmy's jealous of Ted due to he has all that money. He has all that power. He has all that fame. And I will say, you know, uh, Alec Baldwin returning for this character was absolutely hilarious. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed, uh, you know, Jim, Jim Kimmel returns. James uh, Morrison's in this. We got uh, Lisa Critterall in this. We have uh, Amy Sardis in this. We have a long line of different actors and actresses that was in this film. And, and like I said, you know, Jeff Goldblum, he was in here as well. Uh, not a whole lot to say bad about this film. The only thing that I, that I will say that kind of shocked me was it did kind of feel like it was a little short. But at the same time, I felt like that they did well for the way that they ran the story for time length wise, as well as I, didn't, I wasn't expecting no musical numbers in this film. There's a few musical numbers, nothing to where it's cringy or anything of that nature. It's one of those. It's very uh, heartfelt. It's very family oriented. And it's one of those where you could probably listen in like you would a Disney movie is the way I feel about it. But nothing really too bad about this film that I can say. A lot of positive in here. The comedy is on point. Uh... Again, it felt like I was watching the very first movie because I remember when I, very, I first watched the first movie, I laughed so hard where I just I couldn't do much because I, I just kept laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing. And I just I couldn't help myself. So either way, fully enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy this film? Was you able to watch this film? Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments down below. It is out in theaters right now. You guys can also watch it. Uh, either on Peacock as well, but you have to have premium. Uh, is it worth the premium out of my opinion? No, it is not. I'll watch this online. Uh, you guys know how I do sometimes, so that way it can save me a little bit of money. But either way, I think it was a good film. I think it is a film that you can add to your collection later on down the road if you want to. But either way, great film, so go check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments down below. If you guys need your channel, about subscribing. If they felt like on the video, it would help me greatly against the YouTube algorithm. I'll... I'll Service is supported. Thank you guys for all the love and support you guys continue to give me, as well as also click notification bell so you guys know if I have time to upload. And as normal, I'll be seeing you guys on the very next one.